Hey everyone, so I'm getting ready to go into the Goodwill store. I was driving down the road and saw that it was open, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop in. There's the Goodwill store. So hopefully we'll go find some good items. All right, so I'm gonna do a voiceover and I'm gonna talk about what's going on in the store. There was some noise when I walked in and other noises throughout. Here I'm looking at coffee mugs and trying to see if there's any Starbucks coffee mugs or any 3D type coffee mugs. Yeah, I usually try to find those because they'll do really well on them. Sometimes some oddball coffee mugs or ones with names will do good. I wish I'd picked up that one with the yellow flower. I bet that was a brand name one and I just missed it. Anyway, I got this shopping cart. Of course, it's got the wobbly wheel, and I looked at two or three, and they all had wobbly wheel or missing rubber, so I just kept moving on. Here on the shelf is a Bobcat RC car. Whenever I find RC cars, I usually look at them and pick them up. As long as there's no brakes, cracks, or anything, it doesn't even have to have the remote control in it. I'll pick it up because all the parts and pieces will make money and I'm looking at the tires and the frame and everything like that so I really like it so I'm gonna end up picking it up and putting it in the cart but I'll show you a little clip right here of what I've been working on with these RC cars so I wanted to show you something that I thought was pretty unique and it's something that you can make money off of and I hope you can see me because it's heading towards the evening time it's getting a little bit dark but I'm outside I've been working out on this little table out here and this is something that I picked up from the thrift shops you see I paid 99 cents for this one and a dollar 99 for that one and before i destroyed that one i think it was about 99 cents and actually i didn't destroy them what these are are little race cars they don't have the remote controllers the little rc cars and you could probably find them at your thrift shops garage sales uh wherever you go you can probably find them for pretty cheap especially when they don't have the remote control because they're useless without the remote control unless somebody wants to take time to work on them but something you probably didn't know if you strip them down and take the body cover off like off of these like i did here and if you take the wheels off the wheels just have little screws and they'll come right off people will buy those they'll buy good money the other thing they like to buy are these little shocks right here a lot of rc cars have interchangeable wheels and shocks and some of these other parts the bumpers the cover so all this will sell so let me show you real quick these four tires right here i could take off and sell for ten dollars easy uh the body cover right here as long as it's not cracked i can take it off and sell it for another ten dollars the springs i can they just they just unlock and i can take all four of the all four springs off of these things and you can sell them for about seven to ten dollars so this 99 cent or a dollar 99 cent baja rc cars that don't work or having problems because they don't have the controller with it or anything like that that i paid for i can make about 30 dollars just off the parts so i just wanted to share that with you in case that was something you didn't know all right and as i put this in the cart i also wanted to explain that the chassis itself will sell some models the chassis can sell for up 20 dollars. so really you can make a lot of profit off of rc cars that are missing their remote control okay. anyway as i put these into the cart let's go ahead and move on uh, let's see if there's anything good on the shelves over here. Again, like I apologized earlier for the voiceover because there's just too much music playing and I didn't want to get a copyright strike. I'm looking at the DVD and so forth here, the CDs, but there's just too much modern stuff you can go buy at Walmart for $2.99, so nothing that I could see, nothing that stood out at me. Um, I do occasionally, every once in a while, find something that's unique, especially if it's a teaching type DVD or CD audio book or even cassette tapes they'll make some good money here i picked up a backpack and this i know you can't hard to see but it's a jonas brothers backpack and i thought it would do pretty good so i went ahead and looked it over decided that this was going to be a good backpack to find the price was pretty good so i went ahead and picked it up and put it in a cart i started looking at these other backpacks i have picked up a lot of good backpacks at this thrift stop uh, this Disney one right here looked pretty good. I was going to grab it. Wasn't going to be a big money maker, but then I realized there was a name on it and somebody had put that in magic marker and I didn't want to take it because of that. All right, so now I'm going over to the electronics mm -hmm. section and I'm going to tell you, almost all these electronics I felt should have just been thrown in the trash. 
these were missing parts missing pieces just oddball type electronics uh, after they opened up from after the virus this thrift shop should have just cleared went right through all those electronics and just throwing all those away and start all over again there just wasn't anything that was standing out and exciting all right here is a Imperla simplex and I'm probably saying that wrong it's a top of a pasta machine cutter it the box was worn out it was 99 cents and those things will sell for about 20 25 dollars easy plus the shipping sometimes more and I thought it was a really good deal so I grabbed it real quick I'm hoping it's gonna sell pretty fast so I continued down the aisle didn't find too much more I did find this AM hat it was a little dusty but it was real clean good condition and looked new I uh, sell it for about $10, and I picked up these two boxes of Christmas garland. They're bells. The retail price is $12.99. Paid $1.99 a piece for them, so I thought, yeah, I'm going to make some money off of these come around Christmas time. Uh, here in this aisle, I see a salad spinner. So I picked it up, looked it over. I was really happy to find this salad spinner. The price was a good price. It was just going to make some money off of this and then I realized hey there's a great big crack on the bottom so I went ahead and put it back I didn't even keep any parts for replacements or anything like that oh well happens all right so I picked up some items in that thrift that Goodwill store I was in I just picked up a few items they're back there in the back in that bag and they were actually having a good sale I picked up some odd things some Christmas stuff things that's going to probably sit for a little while before it sells but that's okay because after everything I picked up, it only cost me $18. They had a really good sale, probably about half off. So that'll work. And right now I got to put some hand sanitizer on my hands. So I'm holding this camera. So now I got to hand sanitize this camera. Ugh, not good, not good, not good. Forgot to do that before I turned the camera on. Got some good hand sanitizer. I did wear my mask and everything inside there. Let me hit the button. Wipe it down okay all right on to the next place if there's another one so i'm at the goodwill it's in san antonio we drove up here and i got a cart the cart's got a bad wheel you see the bad wheel right there but i already picked up a tripod and i'm just looking around to see what i can see so we'll see what i can find found these American Embassy Kabul mugs and a Hawaiian mug. A Lennox mug. It's a Lennox mug. Uh, loading, up in the, uh, loading up in the glassware. Got some Paris lid. All right, so there really wasn't much in that last store to really show on video. It was really crowded, but I did pick up a few things that you didn't see or maybe you saw in the cart, but you couldn't see what they were. But right off, I'm going to show you what this is. This is a whole bag of shiny, bright Christmas ornaments, all different colors. Uh, so I know come Christmas time, those are going to sell really good. So let me get that bag out of the way, but it was a whole bag about I think seven boxes of them all complete so it was a really good find all right so some of the other items we picked up I uh, picked up this Bilotti coffee pot this is uh, really nice uh, it's on the outside it doesn't look that good it just needs a little bit of cleaning and polishing and I'm, not, I'm gonna do that and I'm willing to do that because this is a larger size and it'll sell for about 25 to 30 dollars says 4.99 is what I paid for it but I got a discount on this day, and I didn't even know they were having a discount on that day. I think they just kind of opened back up. So everything was uh, 30 to 50% off. So I got this for about $3. This right here, I don't know if anybody knows just by looking at that what this is. And what it says is Gourmet San Wamar. All right, I paid $5 for this. Again, I think it was marked down, so about $3. Uh, 
and then you can tell it's got a bracket now what this is i'll try to get a better grip of it it's, well it's got all the screws and stuff on the bottom of it but imagine this when you go to your convenience store and you go to buy yourself a nice big large coke and this is mounted to the side and it holds all those cups like slurpee cups or plastic cups or whatever kind of cups you're going to get a fountain drink that's what i'm trying to say a fountain drink anyway i picked this up i actually looked at it wasn't sure what it was looked at it saw what it was set it back down pulled out my phone and realized these are selling used at fifty dollars a piece so i snatched it up right away okay before we talk about this we're going to talk about those two i picked up these two skim boards and these are for like go to the beach or for just skimming on the water uh they're a lot of fun when you're younger from my age they wouldn't be so much fun i don't think i wouldn't enjoy them maybe not quite as much but they're really fun uh used to do one of those when i was younger and i think i'm gonna go ahead and give them to kim i got paid five dollars a piece for them and she likes to do beach decor out on our porch so i think i'm gonna give them to her unless someone can give me a uh, an offer on these uh if you want one and you like the uh larger one maybe the flag or the smaller one they just need a little bit of cleaning up and i can clean them up but uh they got the flowers or the flag so if there's anybody looking at it and says hey i might want one of those leave a comment down below and i'll get with you other than that i'm going to put it in kim's outdoor decoration area and the only way i'm going to be able to do that is probably to drill holes in it and i really don't want to drill holes in them so if you're interested let me know this item i paid for let me tell you i paid for it now again it had a discount if you look at the original price 49.99 49.99 i did pay a discount for it if you think you'd ever buy a crock pot um for about well, i think again this one uh, fell probably in about that 30 percent range or less so um i still paid up 40 dollars for it or something like that anyway it's cast iron and it's made in france and it's extremely heavy this one says number 31 made in france and you can see on the inside it's really nice it's got good enamel good coloring made in france number 31 and i can't find an exact one like this but i'll show you some pictures of these france made cookware that's being sold they're coming from around the 1970s and this one will go for about 150 towards 200 dollars on a good day so like i said it's extremely heavy when i reached over to pick it up i wasn't sure i didn't know it was going to be this heavy man it's, it's got some weight to it but i paid up for it and i know even with the shipping that i'm going to get about 150 dollars for it for sure so check out these pictures Did you realize that cookware made in France was worth that much? Gives you something to look for, especially those pretty colors, that nice enamel. Well, I have just been enjoying my phone saying that cha-ching, 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 just nonstop. I've been really appreciating that. A lot of good sales. So I've got so many items that I'm going to go ahead and pull the items. Normally, I take the camera around and show you where I get the items and tell you about them. But I'm going to go ahead and pull the items and tell you about them. So sit back and relax. So the first item that sold are these Brahma boots. These are called the Texas Steer Edition. They're uh, really good condition. Got a good polish on them, really nice and clean, good tread. These sold for $29.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item that sold was this LSU frame. Picked this up at a thrift shop. Uh, kind of surprised you don't see a whole lot of Louisiana State stuff here, but uh, anyway. I picked it up. I figured it would sell. I had it for about three months. It finally sold for $12 and the buyer paid the shipping. All right. The next items that sold were these two little Pyrex dishes. Um, I had them listed a little bit higher. A lady gave me an offer on them. Um, we went back and forth with the messaging and she was really sweet. So I finally went ahead and decided I'm going to sell these to her for $6 and she paid the shipping and I don't have very much into them. So $6 is okay for me. All right, the next item is actually in this bin. I think you can see it. Uh, go ahead and find it. All right, it's inside this bag. i uh, got a label with my custom SKU, so it's 107, so I know what it is. I'll show you a picture. This is a Liz Claiborne purse. 
make sure you might be able to see the Liz Claiborne tag, but it says it's a Liz Claiborne purse. Um, I actually sold this on sale, had a little discount going, and this sold for $10.80, and the buyer paid the shipping. All right, this item that sold was really nice. This is actually an elephant that Kim found up at the bins in Austin, um, and it was really good. You know, got it for a really great price. If you've ever been to the bins, you know you pick stuff up for a really good price. And I may pronounce this wrong, but this is a Rajasthan embroidered elephant. It's an Indian elephant, not Native American Indian, but India Indian. Um, it has something to do with the religion, and I'm not exactly quite sure, so I don't want to even just try to speculate and get it wrong. But I know there's jewels that are embedded in it, and whenever they make one of these cloth type animals and it can be other ones i've got another something somewhere i can't remember i got to pull it out i haven't even got it listed uh i don't remember what kind of animal it was but this one if you look real close and you get into it somewhere on here is a little mirror or mirrors and this one's got one right there and like i said it has something to do with it i don't know what it means it might maybe it get gets rid of spirits i don't know but anyway this was a good sale and it sold for forty dollars and 49 cents on sale and the buyer paid the shipping. All right, found this along with another one. This is a vintage Durban cassette player. Um, opens up, you can see it. The other one that I had, I picked up two of them. The other one I had had the AM FM player on it. This one is just a cassette player with a boot with a bass boost. And this sold for nine dollars, and the buyer paid the shipping. When Kim and I were up in San Antonio and we were picking up our grandkids for the week, uh, we stopped at a thrift shop. Found this in the thrift shop along with a bunch of other items. This was a, this is a Sony tripod. In really good condition, excellent. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't have its original box because it almost looked brand new. But this sold for $29.99 shipped. All right, so I've got these Pico Advanced Spa Filters. These are the PWK30. I had four of them. I listed them up at a certain price. I also put in the listing that if you paid for more than one, you got a discount. I added it to the store discount. And a lady purchased all four of them for $71.96 all in. So this was another one of those good items I found at the thrift shop. This is a universal rotisserie from Charbroil. And it was in the box, but it was taped up. So I went ahead and opened it up. And it realized it was brand new inside. Just the box had been open, messed up, had all its parts and pieces. Uh, plugged a little rotisserie in. It worked just fine. So I listed this, had it listed for not long, maybe a little over a month. But uh, I was running the sales. So this sold for $26.95 and the buyer paid the shipping. All right. In this package is a little engraved music box and it winds up. This is actually a Game of Thrones music box. I found this over at a consignment shop. They had this little bucket with 25 cent items in it. This was sitting in there. Uh, works just fine. So picked it up for a quarter and it sold for $4.90 and the buyer paid the shipping. And it's not a big sale item. When I went to go list it, I noticed they weren't listed for very high. So that's okay. $4.90 plus shipping is a good price for me. All right, so this is an item that I thought would sell a lot faster than it did. Uh, I got these a long time ago and listed them up. They've probably been listed on the store for six to eight months. And I was actually surprised they didn't sell as fast as they did. But what these are is a, it's a pendant. You can see it's a royal flush and it's the, of hearts. Uh, the original MSRP on this was $30. So I had it listed up there and they've been sitting and I changed prices. I've gone through a few sales. Well, they finally sold at $13.45 and the buyer paid the shipping. So I'm happy to finally get rid of them. So in this box is a, see if I can get it opened up to where I can display it, is a Craftsman router, all-in-one grinder tool. There it is. Um, I actually don't have any money into this, so it was a great sale. Um, friend of mine had bought a, a place and when he went to go clean it out it had a little storeroom had a bunch of empty boxes and i was cleaning them out went inside the boxes was this tool and i don't believe the tool was ever used it just doesn't have its original box it was still all banded together and 
you know, just needed some dusting off, but uh, it turned it, plugged it in, turned it on, worked fine. So I went ahead and listed this and it sold for $45 and the buyer paid the shipping. So good profit. So this last item that I sold is a really nice gold coin that I came across and find. It's actually on a pendant bezel. Uh, I was really happy to find it. Turned around, looked up the price, was ecst ecstatic when I first saw the price. Listed it because it's a 25 yuan panda uh, China gold coin. So I listed it and it sold right away at $475. And it went to Hawaii. So the gross totals, including shipping on all of those items, was just about $1,000. So it was really, really, really great sales. I really enjoyed them. Of course, now I got to take out the actual shipping cost for some of the items that I charge shipping on or items that had free shipping. You got to take out your PayPal, eBay fees. You got to take out any fees or money you're going to put aside for taxes. So that thousand dollars is going to dwindle down to about six hundred and something dollars, but that's okay. Great sales. I really enjoyed it and had a great time. Gonna gonna have a great time with those sales. Also, uh, got to get all these items wrapped up. It's getting late in the day, and I don't know about you, but it's well. I don't know about where you're at, but it's hot. Um, let me show you my weather thing here. All right. So currently, right now, where I'm at, there's a great big giant. 89 degrees and i don't know if you can see that but also where we're at is very humid and if you can see maybe without the reflection but right under that 89 it says it feels like 99 that's our humidity is 99 and in about three hours it's forecasted to be about 100 degrees and it's supposed to feel like anywhere between 105 and 115 with the heat index omg am i gonna sweat this fat boy is gonna sweat I really appreciate everybody watching. I hope you saw some good items. That if you're a reseller and you go out sourcing, maybe you could find those items to sell and make a profit. So to all the resellers out there, find it, sell it, profit. To everyone else, take care, be safe, be kind to one another. Bye-bye.